Steve, well done. Thank you. Excellent 2-0 victory. How was it from, from where you were watching? Which point? <laughs> Which point? Which point are you talking about? The dog ate? Or stood up in the stand? Make any... I, stood, I went there myself. I just had to get away from things for 10 minutes. Because to be honest, it, it, it was getting on my nerves today. The officiate, it was getting on my nerves. You know, what's good for one is good for another. You know, we, we've had a book in They've had three tackles after it. By the way, we don't think they're bookings either, let alone ours. ours. So, you know, you, you, just want, you just want everything to be consistent. And when they talk about this technical area, you being out the technical area, like, you know, e everyone does it. What, what difference do you make? We'll make? I'll get them to make them bigger. What are you going to do then? We just get to make the technical area bigger. So nonsense. Honestly, the rules and regulations that are going around in football at the moment. You know, ball in play, out of play. We've seen it in the World Cup. It's out of play the other night. It's a nonsense. Who ever brought that rule in? Anyway, you know, don't start me off on it today, for God's sake. <laughs> you know, so... You but, know. But, but in terms of the performance, what about that from, from, from your team, Steve, to the, the way they've played from, from, to, to, get, to get the, yeah. the three points? I, I think we started... I didn't think we started the game very well at all. Um, I think we started, we, we were very reactive, I felt, in the first, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. It took us 30 minutes before we put something together, which was really, really disappointing. And then from then on, we were, we were a lot better. Um, that little stoppage in play probably helped in the first half a little bit for us to gain a little bit of a grip. Um, and then half-time's half-time. And the second half, I just thought we were, we were much better. And... Um, I'm pleased with how we were, you know, the goals that we're scoring, you know, you can see they're coming from the training ground, which was really, really pleased about. Um, so, all in all, and by the way, you know, Lincoln are a good team. They've had some results this year, by the way. You know, I think Mark's done a really, really good job there, really good job. Very difficult to play against. Um, lots of energy when they spring forward in them, in them 10 positions. But then when they defend and they drop back into that 5-4-1, you've got to make sure there's no straight passes. You've got to make sure you break the lines with your passes. Because if you don't do that, they're counter-attacking and they're on you. Um, I think early in the game, we started to play too much with the ball at the back early in the game. It should be the other way around, where we're trying to stretch them and turn them so we have the space to play. We did get a grip of that eventually. Great time to take the lead as well. Stroke at half time, and Luke Lee. I don't think there is, <laughs> but what a, he seems to relish those pressure situations. If you yeah, like penalties, I mean, Luke Lee. And, and the other side of it as well is we've been sharp enough to get penalties, and, and we felt, you know, the one thing we didn't do, we felt as though, sort of, you know, there was areas of their defence where they, they were susceptible on crosses, and. And it's perhaps not a coincidence that we got the goal from in and around that area. So I don't, I, I don't know who it was, but they, they had a little bit of a panic at them, stuck their hand up. And a, any player can do that in any God-given moment. So, you know, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, the penalty was definitely a penalty and the second goal was a good goal. Yeah, quality move again, and as you've yeah. alluded to, it's not the first time no. you've seen a, a passing move like no, that and, no. and a terrific finish. Yeah, well, that, you know, that's, you know, that's from the training ground. You know, there's lots of hard work that goes into training, lots of planning, lots of preparation, lots of energy from the players to be able to do it. So, yeah, you know, um, we're we're really pleased with that. A lot of work goes into that from from the staff, you know, and making sure the boys are ready fitness coaches and making sure the physios to make sure they're out on the pitch that we can replicate those moves in training and then take them into into matches and the clean sheet welcome yeah, as always yeah pleased with that really pleased with the clean sheet really pleased with it because these these can score you know they've got they've got some goals in them and um what we didn't want once we go two nil up is all of a sudden we didn't want them to score a goal at the end maybe off of a corner or a set play and then all of a sudden it becomes a bit of a nervous you know, four minutes of added on time that was five and a half um, and so on and so forth, really. It was such a good team performance. Carl Winchester seemed to be everywhere Yeah, he was good today. today. Luke Leahy done a good job as well today. I thought they were, they were good. I thought they, they backed it up. I thought some of our players today, without, without naming names, were probably a little bit in the first half, certainly. They just looked, I don't know, they looked a yard off it, a couple of them today. 
and um, we, we need everyone. We need everyone to be on it at, at this club, whether we've got injuries or not, we need everybody to be on it. And it's, it, it's hard for them. It's a shift at the moment for them, but um, you know, I think they're responding in the right way and, and staying tough enough to keep playing the games week in, week out, really. And you've sensed this league win has been coming for a few weeks. You've had some tough fixtures, we know. Yeah. You had the FA Cup win yeah. again last weekend, and yeah. it's a matter of time for well, it has been coming, but that's probably not on my statements. That's probably what you've said as well, you know, and at the press conferences, you guys have said, you know, that you know we've we've not ended up getting some of the points in games that we've deserved. But if we keep playing and we keep, you know, some days are not going to be. They're going to be a little bit more like the first half in the first. 20 minutes or 30 minutes games are going to be like that and it's about seeing out of those moments where you're not playing well because no as i said no two halves are the same like i said last week and you've seen that today you know it, it, it's funny because last week we were on it and we were dominant and great from the start and then in the second half we had to show the other side of our game which means you need to be honest hard working diligent organized and and at the, at the early part of this game if we hadn't have done that being diligent, hard-working, honest and organised bit, we wouldn't have been able to do the football that we'd done in the second half that's won us the game in the end. Just finally, I understand that Julian De Costa and Aidan O'Brien have been to London again in the, yeah. in the last few days. What's the, the latest with their injuries? Okay, so the latest is really Aidan O'Brien, um, there, there hasn't been an operation done on him. Um, so we're still waiting a little bit on that one once we get the report through what she actually thinks on Aidan we haven't managed to get that through that's because the lady who who looks after them and and looked and, and was the consultant who looked at him and Julian on Thursday she is busy doing consultations all day Thursday on Friday she's busy doing operations all day before she goes back to Munich so it's a bit of a fly in fly out couple of days for us so I would imagine we'll get a report on Aidan maybe Monday or Tuesday next week if not we'll probably make a phone call to her um, but she hasn't decided to operate on Aidan we need to find the detail of all of that it's only been a quick phone call and the reason we had a quick phone call was the conversation ended up being a little bit more about Julian because Julian she did operate on um, and there was a, a slight repair that needed on his first surgery and also um, she needed to do some work on a nerve. It's early days on Julian, but he hasn't got the same pain that he's had before, after surgery, and also from the injections. So I suppose we're fingers crossed a little bit on Julian da Costa, um, and we're a little bit more at this moment in time in the dark on Aidan because she chose not to operate on Aidan which means she may be happy and the first guy Shilders down in London might be happy on the work they did with him I'll know a little bit more about that probably the next time I see you um, I know that sort of sounds a bit vague on Aidan but until we get the report I can't be any more accurate um, but with Julian you know, there's something that's definitely been done, so we're hoping, and how he's felt in the 24 hours after the operation, let's hope that that one has worked, and we'll work on Aidan a little bit more next week. Well, we wish them well. Well done today. Yeah. Thanks, Steve. Thank you very much.